Youth Runner here with Peyton Meineke, uh, putting together two brilliant weeks in a row. We're at the Desert Twilight Festival here at Toba Sticks Golf Course, Girls Sweepstakes Race, uh, runner up uh, today in 1720. Uh, after uh, an absolutely extraordinary e effort uh, to be in, uh, in the top eight at the 43rd Woodbridge Cross Country Classic in, uh, in California. Peyton obviously running at sea level is, is favoring you, but obviously you know, unique circumstances uh, uh, tonight because I mean obviously we're used to more of a dry heat in Arizona, maybe a little you know a little bit more humidity tonight. Uh, but I mean obviously you know Colorado girls showing out, you know Addie in front of you, obviously Emily in the top five uh, as well. Uh, before we specifically talk about tonight, just uh, how proud are you of, uh, of, of the past seven, eight days? I feel like I'm really proud of myself. It's definitely been stepping stones for me, building up to the championship season at the end of the year. And it was two great opportunities against a great group of girls. And I'm grateful that I got to run against them and get that early exposure to them. And then in the championship season, see them again. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, you knew, you knew that even though it was only September 21st at Woodbridge, you knew that the speed was there early in the season. Uh, but just to, uh, to be able to, uh, to go back to Colorado, you know, get in a little bit more training and, 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 and come back here. I mean, obviously, you know, Addie's gonna, uh, gonna run her race, uh, you're gonna run yours, but just to have that group around, like Gianna's there, you'll see her on November 23rd. Uh, Julie Moore from Mountain, uh, yeah, Mountain View, Utah's there, you'll see her on November 23rd, and then obviously, you know, Emily, you know, and, and, and Addie for certain. Uh, so how good was it to not only kind of reacquaint yourself with, with some of your, your peers and your friends in Colorado, but also get to see a little bit of Utah and New Mexico ahead of the regional? It was really good to see because I've been running against Colorado Girls for a while and just knowing their strategies, knowing what they're working on and everything, I was able to adjust to that and learning people's new techniques where other girls were just being aware and like adjusting to other girls' movements along with knowing the girls from Colorado. Most definitely. Obviously you've been on two courses that, you know, are uh, no, no surprises, no mysteries. It's just like, hey, you know, can I keep, keep up with, uh, with the pace? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, the fact that Addie uh, was where she was, like, just how, uh, how encouraged or affirmed uh, were you? The same way you did last week, right? Like, obviously, there were a lot of girls barreling down that last mile that, uh, that, that, that you held off, you know, uh, to, uh, to be one of those girls, you know, uh, to, uh, to eclipse, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that all-important sub-16 barrier. Like, you know, so the fact we that you just stayed within that. yourself and said, like, Look, uh, you know, September 27th isn't the day to chase Addie. November 23rd is the day to chase uh, Addie, exactly. and December 7th is the day to chase Addie. But the fact that you were able to hold off the rest of them, like, uh, like, how, like, how validating uh, was that? Uh, that you know, it's like, hey, I don't. You know, the rest of the country's chasing her. So, but, uh, but in terms of everybody else, you know, many of which were all Americans last year, like, you know, that you're right there. Yes, it was definitely very validating because I was with all of them last year, being so new to running, uh, here's being able to. Know that oh, everything I've trained on recently and worked on, right, being able to hold that gap against them and keep track, it and make sure that uh, I don't give them up has definitely shown how my training has strengthened and how I've risen in mileage right. and everything. And being able to Here's use those new strengths uh, to my advantage, as well as knowing Addie's ahead of me and chasing her still, was definitely very validating. Fantastic. Uh, few women in the, in the United States have put together back-to-back -back races like the great Peyton Meineke from Riverdale Ridge. Again, uh, runner-up here today in, uh, in the sweepstakes at the Desert Twilight Festival at Toka Sticks after uh, eighth place finish and uh, sub-16 uh, at uh, the 43rd Woodbridge Cross Country Classic. Peyton, stay healthy. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.